hey guys welcome back so today i will be sharing with you guys a swap that i entered and this is a christmas in july build your stash and it's a send to get two obviously i have three one for the hostess and that is larissa and she is october avenue crafts um on instagram and on youtube i believe she's the same but i will go ahead and tag her down below so that you guys can go ahead and follow if you haven't already and so let me go ahead and get started and show you what i used so i used the collection joy by mentopia but now that i'm thinking about it you can't even tell because i didn't use any ephemera but i went i guess i went with these colors i did use some of the paper um and it's like a very neutral collection and most of the phrases or like sentiments are in Spanish. I think all of them actually. Um, and so I made this little gingerbread box. And this is a Sizzix, uh, not a big stack. What are those called? This is a Sizzix. Yeah, I think they're called big styes. Um, And so I cut it out and all of this comes with the die. Um, and then I cut out this front part again for the back and then I made the sides myself. I added the little snap button to keep everything inside. I did some French knots here to look like ornaments on that wreath and this is actually a clay button but I sliced it in half because it was too bulky um, and it worked out great. So let me show you. Um, I took out these die cuts here because they're difficult to take out and put back in. But this is where all of my die cuts are going to go. This is a KS Craft die, I believe, last year or two years ago. Um, and then I added some of those little pearls. And then the acetate is from the collection. This bow, I think, came from Ali as well. The back is felt. And I went ahead and I stitched all around. And I'll show you my die cuts. So... These are my favorite ones. And these dies are from the collection. Aren't they so pretty? I love it. And it's this die here. This time, you guys, I remembered to share the dies. So really, really cute. So that's that die. And then the poinsettia is also from the collection. And let me see, let me look for it. It's this one here. I love that they're mint colored. Um, so some poinsettias. And then I added this little cute Christmas tree, which is so adorable. I just love the size of it. Isn't this so cute? And this one, I seen it in um, Paper Button Love's Instagram. She made some last year, and I was obsessed. And that's this die here. Super cute. I love the size of it. And then this one, I used cork, and that's from Dollar Tree. It's already sticky on the backside. I thought it looked kind of cool. And then I included these Christmas lights. This is a case craft die. Not sure... Um, if it is or isn't, but I'm pretty sure I got it off of Allie. Isn't that so cute? So those are my die cuts that I'll be sharing with them. And then for the two embellished shakers, these are mine here. And that little gingy is this die here. Remember when Hobby Lobby was cool and used to sell dies? And now they don't. So this is from Hobby Lobby, but it's actually Memento. And um, the little sign is not glued on, so if they don't like it, they can just go ahead and remove it. And this uh, snow globe die, pretty sure it came from Allie. I thought that was very, very cute. And then we had to do one sequence mix. And this is mine here. Um, I used everything. I used pearls, clay bits, sequins, foam balls, um... Everything that I could think of that would match, I put it in there. Then I added that uh, glitter canvas ribbon to cover up that metal gray in there. And I added this cookie cutter charm. So, yeah. I tried to match it as best as I could to the collection. And then this here is my embellishment box. 
um obviously it's not a box i didn't have three of anything i had twos or one i was annoyed now i know why christy buys in threes it just makes more sense um so <laughs> i had to come up with something so this tree here is this die here you guys remember this when they were selling it at hobby lobby and then you'd get the little plastic dome separately so i went ahead and i backed it on this um tag and then i used the cork to cut out the outline right and this is from dollar tree last year or two years ago and these are from hobby lobby last year he came from alley and to open it they have to just rip this perf per perforated <laughs> perforated thing which i was telling christy i go someone needs to take this die away from me like i just want to put on everything so that they you know you get to rip it and get into what's in there i don't know i just think it's so fun and um yeah i've had some <laughs> some like crafty friends be like uh no no one wants to rip it but i think it's so fun um so i hope this is okay for an embellied box i just wanted them all to be the same and so this is what i came up with and then we're supposed to add one crafty goodie and these baggies here are from Dollar Tree. I don't know how long ago I added the jemmies and the bow. Just to, you know, make it cutesy. And then I will be gifting them a die. And this strawberry straw topper. And I like it because it matches. It's red. It matches. But they could still use it right now during the summer. So I thought that was cool. So yeah, you guys, that's what I made for the swap. This is what the box looks like. It's pretty sturdy because I use like, you know, that hard or that stiff uh, felt. So, yeah, that's what I made, you guys. Let me know what you think down below about this honest, honest opinions. <laughs> and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.